the hell is that? I don't know, it must be a joke. By who? It was all finished. Christian said he tidy up, made sure everything was perfect. It's probably just kids. Why would kids write that and how would they get in? All right. Lucy. What? Well, she's always taking the mickey out of Christian, saying that he fancies me. She must have nicked the keys from him. Yeah, but why would she do that? Ruin our flat warming. And that says you fancy him. This doesn't make sense. What are you doing? Calling Christian. What for? Well, he was the last person to hear. Maybe he saw who did it. Maybe he chased after them. Don't! I thought it was weird it wasn't at the party. Amira, what's up? We're at the flat. We're about to show people round and it's a total mess. Oh, he said it was fine when he left. He couldn't wait to see what everyone thought. Well, well, they can't see it like this. The wallpaper's been ripped and... And someone scrawled this pathetic, sick graffiti all over it. I can't even tell you what it says. It's just laughable. We need to patch it up fast. They'll be here any minute. I'm on my way. Well, what did he say? Yeah. We've got to get this repapered. What did Christian say? Well, that he's coming to help, of course. It shouldn't take too long. We'll need more paper and paste. Hopefully he'll bring all that with him. Well, don't just stand there. You need to call your parents and stop them sending Dad down until we've covered this up. Oh, that's right. <sighs> Got to keep up appearances, don't we? What the hell have you done? Well, you keep saying you're too, but ducking out of well, not this time. What? Nothing. It's not nothing. It's my life. Our life. And it's time you knew about it. Christian, what are you talking about? Saeed, look at it. We've got to fix this. Who would have done that? It was me. What? I wanted to reveal what was underneath. And if you want to know why, then... Ask him. Saeed. Saeed, why... Why are you letting him talk to me like this? Because it's true. That graffiti. I'm sorry. Look, Amira. Just shut it. What is this? Some kind of sick fantasy. Because you fancied him, because you've always fancied him. Yeah. You're meant to be my friend. I am. You're a liar, Christian. Yeah, I've lied to you. But not in this. We're moving in together. We're married. In name, yes. No, in everything. You're my husband. We share a bed. So do we. Stop it! Just stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Just Amira! Stop it! Amira! No! No! That's enough! I've said it. I've done what you wanted. Now back off! It's okay. Calm down. Just hold me, please. Just get him away from me. Stop him saying these sort of things. He's with me. You're not welcome here. Just get out. Say it, please. Amira, stop just it. listen to me. No, it's okay. You don't need to say anything. I know. I know. I know he's lying. I forgive you. I'll do anything you want, please. Just get him out of here, please. It's I... Okay. Okay. He'll go. No, he won't. Just get out. Please, just look at her. Just... We finish this now. Yes, just finish it, please, Saeed. Please just stop these pretense, these lies. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please. Oh. Just. Oh. It must be my parents wanting to send Kadeem back. No. No, you can't. They can't come here, please. Please don't let them go. Please. Please. <laughs> Voicemail, young love. <laughs> Taking a quiet moment in their new flat, no doubt, you know, before the hordes descend. <laughs> I'm sure that they will call any minute. <laughs> Momo Salidar, Bushra. Now you have got to calm down. No. <laughs> Give your baby. No. <laughs> She's not pregnant. It was a mistake. There is no baby. No, not yet. We 
You said we'll try again. You promised. You promised we'll try again. What? As something to say. <laughs> to comfort her. It's what you do when you care about people, when you love them. You comfort them. It's not just about you or us. Her being pregnant was what stopped you telling her. I can't hear this. I can't stay here. I can't be in this room seeing that him. This is, this is our flat, our home. Please, Said, Said, come with me. Please. Look, this is, this is, this is our kitchen and this is our lounge and, and this is where we'll watch our children play because we will have children, I promise you. It's what you want. It's what we both wanted and I can give you that. I love you. I love you so much. I know. Whatever I've done wrong, I'll put right. I'll change. I'll be the perfect wife. I will. Amira. I'm sorry. I don't appeal to you. Let me try. I'll try harder. Please just give me a chance. There's no point. <laughs> you are the most beautiful woman in the world. <gasps> and I love you. And it breaks my heart. I can't give you what you need, but I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Amira, talk to me. Please. I think I should call a doctor. I don't need a doctor. I just need my husband. I know. No. You don't. Now, if you can say these, keep up this pretense. You can't know what will happen to me. What they'll do, what people will say. Amira. You're confused. Things haven't been right. It's, it's my fault. I've driven you from our bed and he took advantage. No, I didn't. But I can make things the way they were when we were first together. We've been seeing each other for nearly a we'll year. We'll go back to the house. When you were dating. We'll say there was a burst pipe, it's flooded, and we'll rearrange it for another day. There isn't going to be another day. Now, you need to listen. You can't just bury your head in the sand. I'd bury yours if I could. Alive, screaming. And you think that'd solve this? You'd only go and find someone else. No. I wouldn't. You can't talk like that. Please, we'll go, we'll go back to the house. We'll smile, we'll share some our love. We'll forget all this nonsense. Until when? After the guests have gone, and then what? I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I can't lie to you anymore. It's not a lie. Our marriage is not a lie. It's not. We can stay together, please. Oh, you can't mean that. You're my husband! What choice have you left me? Who do you think they will blame? It's no one's fault. You said you loved me. I do. Then love me. Let me stay by your side, please, Said. You swore at our wedding that you would protect me. Then protect me, please, Said. Please. If not for my sake, then for my dad's. And your family. Think of your family. Think what would happen to them. What they would say if they found out. They already have. No. No, this isn't happening. No. no. It's medieval. Do you think they'd actually blame her for this? Now don't start regretting what you've done. What I've done? Oh, better she suffers than either of us, eh? Well, it serves her right, really. It serves them all right. And imagine preferring a life of denial. Think how much happier they'd feel if they were honest. What was it?